Hello world, welcome back. One of my viewers asked me how to create this vector 3D distorted lines typography in Illustrator. So in this video, I will explain the process. If you are thinking this could be done with mesh tool or blend tool, then you are wrong. They cannot give you this or any other tool. That is why I created a script which helps you to create this with just a few mouse clicks. For that, you will need Illustrator and Photoshop both. First, open empty Photoshop document. I will take 1280 by 720 pixels. Do not go higher than this resolution. You will know why in a moment. The distortion effect we want will require white background. So I will keep this white. Add a black text or shape. In final output, distortion will be applied the most on the blacks and none on the white. And grays will be in between. Right now this is a solid black. So distortion will be too sharp. To make it smoother, add a Gaussian blur. To keep the blur editable, first convert the text layer for smart filter. Then add Gaussian blur with amount around 15 pixels. As I told you before, white won't have any distortion effect, so this area around the text is useless. So crop out that part. Keep very small amount of white around the text. Uncheck the option delete cropped pixels, just in case you need it back. Before proceeding further, I will save the project. Now it's time to run the script. Go to File, Scripts, Line Distorter Image Processor. This box will pop up. Here enter the step count for X axis and Y axis. The default 10 does the job but I will set the X axis to 8 pixels and Y steps to default 10 pixels. After clicking OK, you will see the progress in layer panel here. Do not minimize or even click anywhere inside Photoshop while image is being processed. Photoshop could crash. Yeah, I already saved the project. Process cannot be stopped in the middle. Click OK. Now you can see the color sampler tool is picking the color from every 8th pixel on X axis and every 10th pixel on Y axis. Here you can see the status of the process in layer names. Do not worry about bunch of those layers, they will vanish in the end. Do not click anywhere inside. If you minimize the Photoshop, you won't be able to maximize back until end of this process. So I recommend not to do that. You can work on other applications though, Photoshop will work in the background. You can see it is taking quite a long time. That is why I cropped out the white areas around the text. That can save a lot of time. For testing purpose, start with low resolution documents, around 500 pixels. This is text layer with smart filter, so you can scale it up to high resolution later. This weight is much better than making every single path manually with the paint tool. Let me fast forward this. It's almost done. Here is a box saying. Done. Open Illustrator document and run line distorter script there. You can see those layers are gone. Now open Illustrator document. Go to File, Scripts, Line Distorter. In this box, it is asking for height amount and angle. I will keep the height default 0.7 and angle 110. Click OK. Here is the output. You can see distortion is wonderful but the problem is there are thousands of unnecessary points on the straight segments of path. We don't need them. To remove them, keep the line group selected, go to object. Path, Simplify. 
we want to remove the points which are only on the straight lines. So check the box saying straight lines and set the angle threshold to 1 degree. And click OK. Now it looks clean. Use direct selection tool to manipulate the points. For example, I am aligning them to artboard edges. If you need more lines here, then you can just duplicate this one few times. Here we got two groups. One contains the lines and other one contains the background shape. You can change color and width of the lines and background. Select the line group. Go to appearance panel. Double click on contents. So all the individual parts are now selected. I will increase the stroke width to 1.7. Stroke color to black. Fill color closer to the white. Apply the same fill color to the background shape too. You don't have to pre-process the image in Photoshop each time. But if you change the blur amount, text or anything visual, then you will have to rerun the process in Photoshop. Once the image process completes, you can run line distorter in Illustrator as many times as you like. Try different height, angles and colors. Here are some variations in the angle value. Right now I am working on the script, so if you want it then please give a thumbs up and write down your comments below. Make sure to subscribe the channel for more videos and tips. I will post you the link when it's ready. Thank you for watching.